Hello everyone and welcome to unit 5 and in this unit we'll be talking about animals as you can see the title of this unit is animal world now let's go through the aims of this unit so at the end of this unit you will be able to talk about animals to read and understand an animal quiz to make statements and ask and answer questions in the present continuous to understand a conversation about zoos to use the present simple or the present continuous correctly to ask for information in a shop and to write a short description of an animal for the language you will be studying present continuous and the present simple versus the present continuous and for the vocabulary it will be about animals uh, action verbs adverbs of movement and words with the suffix er now let's move to the first lesson so this lesson will be about vocabulary as you can see here we have some animals that look weird so the task is to define these animals by looking at their body parts so the instruction or the task says what is unusual about these animals label each picture with the two animal names use the words in the box you have these words to help you define these animals so we have a bird a cat a cow a dog an elephant a fish a frog a giraffe a gorilla a horse a monkey a polar bear a shark a sheep a spider a tiger and a zebra you have the first one as an example this animal looks weird because it has a body of a polar bear and a head and a tail of a tiger so you will do the same thing for the other animals you have to look at their body parts and see what body part belongs to which animal okay I want you to stop the video and do the exercise you have five minutes to do it let's do the exercise so the second animal it has got a head of a giraffe and a body of a fish so a giraffe and a fish the third animal has got a body of a sheep and a head of a monkey yes number four the body belongs to a spider so we have a body of a spider and we have this fin so the fin belongs to the shark so a spider and a shark number five we have a body of a cow and a head of a horse number six we have a body of a gorilla and a head of a frog number seven we have a body of an elephant and the black stripes belongs to the zebra because zebras have got black stripes number eight the body is or belongs to a horse and the head of a dog and the last one which is number nine so we have a body of a bird and a head of a cat let's check as you can see all the answers are correct moving to the next exercise which is exercise number two here you have to copy and complete a table so here we have a table I want you to take 
a notebook and draw a table like this one and you have five categories we have pets farm animals wild animals water animals and land animals so the words of animals you found in exercise number one you have to put them in these categories some animals will go in different or more than one category now let's go to the next page here we have a quiz about some animals so we have these five animals and we have some questions about these animals but first let's read the fact the fact says frogs live on every continent in the world except Antarctica means that frogs can be found can be found everywhere except Antarctica because Antarctica it's the coldest place on earth now let's see so here it says what are the animals doing okay this is an animal actions quiz animals do different things for different reasons sometimes the reasons aren't what you think they are how much do you know about animals actions do the quiz and find out so in order to answer these questions you have to read the clues here now let's read them elephants move their ears backwards and forwards when they are hot and they want to stay cool so the elephants use their ears in order to blow air towards their body in order to keep it cool horses open their mouths and curl their lips when they want to smell something yeah if you look at this horse it's the horse is curling its lips in order to smell yeah it sounds weird right here we have frogs have a vocal sac so this is a vocal sac and the, their chins this is the chin male frogs produce sounds from this sac and sing to female frogs so the sounds that the frogs make are uh, sounds to call females so they are made to uh, pull the attention of the females giraffes use their long necks and their heads during the fights over territory so giraffes uh, as you know have long necks so when they fight they use their necks as a weapon to hit the other giraffe monkeys often take insects and dirt out of each other's fur yeah if you see monkeys doing this means they are taking insects and dirt out of each other's fur now let's do the quiz so here we have why is this elephant moving its ears so you have three answers only one is correct find the right one okay yes so the right answer is why is the elephant moving its ears because it's hot yes they use their ears to blow air towards their body in order to keep it cool number two what's this horse doing so we have a it's smiling b it's laughing c it's smelling something so which one is the correct answer it's a c it's smelling something three giraffes three what are these giraffes doing are they fighting are they dancing or are they playing so which one is the right one yes it's a so they are fighting for what's this frog doing so we have a it's drinking b it's singing c it's eating c it's eating so the answer is it's singing so they are making sounds in order to pull the attention of the females so they are singing number five what are these monkeys doing a they are playing 
B, they are fighting. C, they are cleaning each other. So the answer is C, they are cleaning each other. So they pull dirt and insects out of their fur. Let's check. Yes. So all the answers are correct. If you have your answers correct, you did well.